Hope you got your popcorn ready, because today the kids are coming back and we're going to do an intro to hacking using some over the wire labs. Hey everybody, what's good? What's going on? JB here with another Cyber Insight video. Thanks for stopping by the channel again and making it your new spot for cyber network knowledge. In today's video, we're having the kids come back and we're gonna do an intro to hacking, which actually is really more an intro to Linux, uh, using a website called Over the Wire. So we're gonna get the kids together, we're gonna go through a few levels of that, and we're gonna go over a few uh, tips and pointers as far as what's the best way to look for information that you don't know, and then I'm gonna help walk them through uh, the first five levels of Over the Wire. So today I'm wearing a suit and the kids dressed up and they're wearing suits too because we wanted to show that the normal stereotypical version of a hacker is not actually the reality. Really we can wear whatever we want to wear but today we wanted to wear suits because we're all about business. All right so before we jump into the lessons on the hacking make sure you hit the like subscribe and notification bell that way you don't miss out on any new content and let's get to it. We're going to be using Over the Wire which is a introductory hacking lab which is going to show the kids a little bit of some introductory stuff for using Linux. Um, Linux obviously is an operating system, so I told them it's kind of like Microsoft Windows except for the fact that there's a lot of differences and it's free. So in Over the Wire, what we end up doing is creating an SSH tunnel from our workstation to the lab, uh, the lab host that's out on the internet, and then we're going to go through five levels here that they have, or the first five levels. And uh, we're going to put a timer with it, so we're going to try to do it in 20 minutes. If we can, then they're going to get pizza for dinner. <gasps> Wait, really? Seriously, Wait, Did yeah. they get in the refrigerator? No, no, we'll get real pizza. Yeah, so if they can do it in 20 minutes, then they'll get free pizza. I mean, not free pizza. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> so if they can do it in 20 minutes, then they're going to get pizza out of it. Could we get soda? No. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We haven't we, had soda in so long. We're not about that life. So what we're going to do is do an overview of each of the levels, talk about the different things that we need to accomplish in each of those. Um, some important things that I showed the kids when we're doing this is the purpose here isn't to automatically know the answer because we don't know the answer. And so when it comes to IT and hacking, really it's about looking at the information you have and figuring out what are the right questions to ask. And so it's not like school where you gotta memorize all the answers here. We're gonna take what little information we have and if we don't know what the answers are, we're gonna use Google and other things to end up finding those. The other thing that we have that's important is we have a notepad opened up here for notes. It's a really important thing to do when you're going through any type of lab or tutorial or whether it's in hacking or IT or whatever, documentation is the most important thing. So I wanted to kind of drill this in from the beginning that we're going to take some notes on, the, on what we're particularly trying to do and then also if we find any information along the way that might be helpful, we want to make sure that we go ahead and document that as well. So let's dive into level zero. So uh, one of the other important things with this is it's going to give you each level. It's going to give us the goals of what we need to do, right? And then it's going to tell you the commands that we need to use to solve it. And then some other links we can use it to like Google stuff if we want to go that way. One super important thing when it comes to dealing with Linux and commands, and we're going to use this a lot here is if you don't know what a command does, you type man, which is short for manual and then the command. And what that does, it's going to give you a how-to guide of how to use a command. So it's like help. Okay? So, let's start with level zero and look at what it wants us to do. Let's read over this. So, the goal of this level is for you to log into the game using SSH. SSH is a tool that we use to remotely uh, connect to devices. And the reason why it's cool and important is because of the fact that the data with it is encrypted, which means that it's hidden. You can't see. If you're on the network, you can't pick up somebody else's packets and see what they're doing. Okay. So that's really important when you're configuring and managing devices because your username and password is encrypted so nobody else can see it. Did you go over encrypted before? I think we talked about it before, maybe. Um, and so since your username and password is encrypted, nobody can steal it. If we weren't using SSH or using something else, then you as a hacker could be somewhere else in the network and you could get my login credentials 
So you could log into my Roblox account, you could log into my Facebook account, you could log in my bank account. You have a Roblox account? Yes. What is it called? John the Brick. J Bizzle. J Bizzle? J Bizzle. Any numbers? 703. Okay. So we're going to use SSH. And the host which we need to log into is this URL, okay, on port 22. By default, SSH uses just 22, so this is important. This is different. And then we're going to use the name Bandit0 and the password Bandit0. Okay, so what do you think are the important things that we need to realize out of this to do what we need to do? Two thousand. Hmm? 2,220? Two, two yes. All right, so I want you to open the notes section here. All right. All right, let's go under level. No, 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 we gotta put it under here. Okay. And what was, username and password. password. Yep. Can you press the X? And then what else do you think is important with that? Um, the host which you need to connect is bandit.lab. Yep. Okay. So we're using SSH over 2220, right? Bam! Okay. Now type in the password. What was oh that? yeah, PM zero. Yeah, you got it. So where do I put it? Right there. Okay. Just type it. You won't be able to see anything because uh, with Linux, where the password prompts are invisible, so people can't steal your stuff. There you go. All right, so we're moving on to the next level, level one. So we're in level one. The password for the next level is stored in a file called README, located in the home directory. Use this password to log in to Bandit1 using SSH. Whenever you find the password for a level, use SSH on port 222 to log into whatever level and continue the game. That looks like the file that we need, right? Yeah, it's me. Okay. So what command did I say we could use to look at files? Cat. Cat. Okay. So you go cat, space, and then the name of the file. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, we gotta fix the spelling on that guy. Yep. Okay. And hit enter. So that's going to be the new password that we're going to need. What's the username that we got to use? Bandit1. Okay, so change, change that from what it currently is to Bandit1. Just use the back arrow to get to where you need to change, and then once you get to where you need to change, just hit delete. Nope. Go forward one. Yep. Okay. Hit enter. Okay, and then we're just gonna go here and hit uh, Command V. Oh no no no! Because remember we already saved that that password. Just hit Command V. And then, bam! We are in it. Can you see we're in Bandit One mm -hmm. with that guy now. All right, now it's Crystal's turn. All right, so now we are into the next level. It says for level two, the password for the next level is stored in a file called hyphen, located in the same directory. Okay, so what note should we take with this? 
Um, it's stored in a file called hyphen. Okay. So that would be a good thing to, to take. So let's go. So we couldn't open the hyphen file or a name or a file with the name hyphen. So let's see what we got here. Google search for dash file name. file right so yep and then hit enter bam all right so that is going to be our password there you go now on level two to go to level three, we're gonna take a look and see what we got here. So it says the password for the next level is stored in a file called spaces in this file name located in the home directory. What should we take notes on? So the, the password for the next level is stored in a file called spaces in the file name located in the home directory. Hmm? Okay, so we should take notes on the password that is spaces in this file name. And hit tab, see if that does anything. Oh, okay. So this is interesting because it's showing us a few different things. So it automatically finished that and added those slashes in there to signify the spaces were part of the file name. Um, so that actually kind of worked out well for you. We actually didn't need to go and do any research into that. The thing with this was gonna be that you can't search on a file that actually has spaces in the file name without doing something to signify that the, the spaces are part of the name. Log in, bam, okay. And then Command V to paste, and then hit Enter. Bam, okay, Crystal, you're up. This is last one. So we're now at level three, going for level four. Uh, within this one, it says that the password is stored in a hidden file in the in here directory. Okay, so what do you think is the important thing that we want to take in our notes here? The file, which is in here. Yeah. What we need to do is actually get into that directory, okay? From the directory that we're currently in. So um, let's take a look back here and look at some other commands that might be here. Okay, so we've used the ls command and we've used a cat command. We did not use the cd command. What do you think the cd command stands for? Hmm? Mm -hmm. um, command. How about we, how do we look up to see what a command, what something does? Google it. We could Google it, yeah, we could Google it, but what was the other way that we looked at in here? We typed our word and then we typed the command after to see what the, what the definitions were. Cat, period, slash. Starts with an M? Man. Man, right, so let's go man. For right, man, space, cat. Oh, I'm sorry, not man, space, cat. That's not what I meant to do. Hit uh, Control Z. Or hit Q. Okay. Uh, man space CD. That was the command we wanted to look at. Okay. No manual enter for CD. Interesting. Okay. So we could go and we could look at what that is on Google. Google. Yep. <laughs> it's just right there. So for kicks and giggles. What do you think we want to ask? What is man? 
Nope. What does? What does CD mean in? What's the what's the what is the operating system we're using? Linux. Linux. It's right there. Yep. There you go. Maybe if something's hidden, maybe if we do all, then that will. That will do. Do ls space dash hyphen a. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Get rid of that forward slash. Get rid of that forward slash. Just dash. And then a. And then a. Wait, what does the, oh, the, what does the dash a mean? The dash A, when we looked under the man there, it said for all. So why can't we just type all? Because uh, that's not how the commands work here. You need to use whatever the specific um, tags are that they want you to use. Cat space dot hidden. No, 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 no. You've got to have the, the H right after the on the space because the, that's the name of it. Yeah. There we go. Bam! You we, did it! We we'll get pizza. Woo! Did we get pizza? We'll get pizza! Pizza! Woo! <laughs> okay. okay. So the kids are happy. They got their pizza. They got through the, the five levels that we wanted to do. Thought that was pretty cool. We learned some Linux along the way. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and uh, hit the like button. Leave me some comments down below. We can continue doing these types of videos. Maybe keep going through uh, some more levels. Leave me any other comments down below as well. Uh, if there's anything else that you want to see. I got some new devices that have come in that I'm going to be adding into the home lab. So that will be pretty cool. Do some videos on that. As always, hit the like, subscribe, notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any new content. Take care of each other. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll talk soon. Take care.